Hey guys, um, it's the 21st of June um, and I just had something come in the post and it's from the works and it is some stationery sets, like writing paper because about a week ago um, I was chatting to one of my friends on WhatsApp or I just kind of like, she lives in America basically, she moved to America I think it must be nearly three years ago now because I don't think she's met Aria. Um, we've known each other for about seven years um, and I made a wedding cake and she's just, her and her husband are just amazing. I love them both and they know that. Um, and I messaged her and said, do you want to be pen pals? <laughs> because I used to have loads of pen pals when I was little, like a lot of pen pals. And um, yeah, I thought I would see if she wanted to be pen pals and she did and like and I was like well who should write first then and she was like let's both write first so we're both writing first but I realised that I wanted some nice paper um, and the reason I wanted nice paper is because she is an illustrator um, and she's amazing and I just wanted to be able to have nice paper to write her letters on so I went on the works website last night and they had a sale on um, Oh, and there's a voucher there. There's 10% off if you want it. Um, there's a code there if you want 10% off. Uh, these were all £1.50 each. I think they're supposed to be £4.50 each, which I still think is quite cheap. Um, but I've got three different sets, so I'm not really sure what one I'm going to use first. But they're so pretty. Um, I know they're supposed to be £6, but they're £1.50 in the sale. Um, writing set. 10 sheets of paper and 10 matching envelopes. So the first one I got is this Flamingo set. Um... And then the envelopes look like this. Super, super pretty. Um, and then I got... Um, this is like... Uh, this has got a map and... Like a world map on it. It's really pretty. And again... The paper's like that. And then the final one I got... I'm not going to say what this is out loud. Because if the kids hear me say this word... They're going to want it. Um, but I just thought this was so cute. So, yeah, it says uh, full, full colour writing paper and envelopes. I'm going to just open this one because I think this is the one I'm going to use first because it's funny and it makes me laugh. Um, but if anyone knows of anywhere that does really nice writing sets that are a little bit different, let me know because I'd like to be able to have lots of different ones to be able to write here. Oh my god, look, it's so cute. This is unicorns are real. Yeah, they are. Um, and then this is the paper. Super, super cute. Really pretty. Um, but yeah, I just kind of like... We just... I don't know. We haven't really ever lost touch. We just kind of... She's really busy with her work. Um, and I'm busy with the kids. So I thought it would be nice for us to write to each other. So I've got some sets. Um... £4.50 and I, I, t I did pay for next day delivery because otherwise it was going to take a week and I paid for I think 4 99 for next day delivery and I ordered this yesterday about this time and it's now 10 o'clock and it's just been delivered by Hermes or Herms however you say it um so yeah that is awesome oh it's so me I just found some new I've just put this on my Instagram but I may as well show you guys as well I think I can't remember what box I got this in but it's Polar is the brand or Polar um, I think mum got this in her birch box actually um, and it's factor 30 and it's a velvety sun fluid for face and body it's amazing I've been using it like every day since mum let me have it because mum only uses like factor 10 or 15 whereas I prefer something higher um, and it's amazing it's so so good I think it's going to be about I think it's like 25 euros for a two this is only a 20 mil sample um and a full size is 200 mil so 10 times bigger than this and it's like 25 euros which i think is 22 pounds which i don't think is bad and i would only use it on my face but it makes your skin feel so nice and soft and it hasn't blocked my pores it hasn't made it greasy i really really like it so i'm gonna buy another one when this runs out i'm definitely gonna get one because i have been on the lookout for a face spf that i can use every day that doesn't like clog up your face yeah I'm gonna go because I forgot to drink my hot chocolate and yeah I'll speak to you later we're gonna go out in a bit you might come with us I'm not sure yet hey guys it's Friday morning um 
we are about to go out, but we've got someone coming to view the house later. So I have blitz and I have been decluttering and I've painted. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what I've done. The kitchen is nearly finished. I just need to put away the girls. The girls' juices are obviously coming with us. Um, but I've like cleared the worktop. Obviously, I'm going to put my um, washing up away. But everything is clear. Um, I just need to hoover in here and then this room. I've done, I like cleared the top, cleared the mantle, cleared the windowsill, and then this wall, I've removed like probably 90% of the pictures and I've painted it because um, it was just full of holes. We've moved the girls' kitchen, um, cl decluttered all this, um, removed some of the books so that we can put the ornaments on it. This room, I've just bought um, a nice plant for the table, which I think makes it look lovely. And then I've just decluttered as best I can my filming area. Um, and then I've done the bedrooms as Mika, being grumpy because she wants to go out. The bathroom, I've just got a new bath mat and then I've cleared the windowsill and cleared around the bath and cleared the cupboard. And our bedroom, lights off, but just cleared everything, made the bed, changed the sheets, nothing on the floor, just really nice and tidy. And then the girls' room, I took down all the bunting, um, apart from that one, um, and I think it's made it look a lot bigger. I've took down all the paintings the girls did on the walls. Um, their beds are really nicely made. Um, so their kitchen is now in here. Um, and they've got their bookcase so it's quite crowded in here but i do think it kind of more shows that we need more space not that it's a bad size bedroom because we've got two beds a chest of drawers mika don't go in there and mess it up babe i feel so bad for the kids because they really want to play and i'm just not letting them today because we need to keep this as tidy as possible we are going out to see a friend um so the house is just going to be left while we're we're going to go and see atty now ready are you ready to see atty Come on then, let's get you juicy. Um, so yeah, I think it just kind of highlights that we need a new, more room, but this room is multifunctional and it does fit a double bedding as well. So yeah, I'm hoping it's gonna be enough. Got your juice? So I'm just gonna blow out the candles. You guys tell me where you see candles and I've got to blow them out. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go candle. and candle. just found me a candle. I'm gonna blow them all out um, and then I'll let you know later if anything happens. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Monday, it's the 25th of June. Hope you all had a lovely weekend. I'm super sorry I didn't vlog, like, at all, hardly. I think I might have filmed a little bit, but barely anything. Um, it's just been crazy busy. I've got loads of orders to do that I need to address and then make the cards, package them, and then send them. Um, and I need to give you guys an update on the house because I haven't done that and people keep asking me what's going on. So I thought I would do a little bit of a multitask jobby because i need to get things done i've got my friend coming around in a little while it's now five to eight in the morning um she has got a little baby um and it's going to be really hot today we want to go for a walk so we are just starting early she gets up at six we get up at six we thought we might as well just get on it before it gets too hot because i think it's supposed to be really... Supposed to be 26 degrees today, which is going to be far too hot for the girls to just be like walking around there. They'll just get grumpy. I mean, they can do it, but they'll just be grumpy. Um, so, um, and I'll be grumpy because I don't like the heat. Um, uh, yeah, anyway, so the house, uh, I can't remember what the last thing I told you was. I think you guys know, you definitely know that the buyer pulled out, um, and I thought they were sneaky, um, and knobby knob ends, but you i don't know who you know that like the people that we are wanting to buy the dream house from and when i say dream house i basically mean this is the house that if we buy this house if we can get it we're not gonna have to move again um unless we're in the lottery kind of thing because it is like an awesome awesome house um and it's big enough and yeah it's just lovely so we really i really really want it i've like been going crazy on pinterest at the moment i'm like obsessed with it and i've just got boards for everything um but yeah the people that we're buying from have been amazing they've been so kind like we've been chatting to them um, and they're holding the house they're keeping it off the market for us for a month so that we can find a buyer for our house 
which is just incredible. So um, my estate agent, when I told him they were doing that, he said that was really nice of them and he wouldn't do that for somebody um, because it's like, it's a risk for them that they're keeping it off the market when um, we haven't got a buyer. So it's really nice of them uh, to do that. And yeah, so we're like, I'm desperately trying to keep the house tidy. I've like decluttered everything. Um, I've showed you guys all that. Um, and I was just trying to keep on top of it and keep the mess to a minimum. Um, so we kind of like implemented a new rule. Like the kids are only allowed like one kind, one lot of toys out at a time and they can't just like go crazy, which is good because they shouldn't be doing that anyway. They need to learn to tidy up because they're gonna have to do it at nursery. Um, and Ben's parents have got the dog. They went to, they were in Cost last week on holiday and they wanted to come over and see the girls yesterday. So they came over and we went to the pub near the new house, excuse me. Um, yeah, we went to the pub near the new house and had a drink and had a little walk, which was just lovely. It was so, so pretty. Um, and then they came here and they are gonna, they were gonna be having the dog anyway on Wednesday and Thursday because we're away visiting friends. Um, but they said, well, we may as well take him today. So they took him last night. Um, so Nibbler's gone on his jollies and it is, he loves being at Ben's parents' house. It's his like favorite place. They spoil him so much. Um, and like when he gets walked here, he just gets walked around the estate. Whereas where they live is right in the middle of the country and there's no other dogs and he can just go off his lead through the fields and he loves it. Um, so yeah, he's on his jollies and we'll pick him up either on Thursday night or Friday. Um, and it lets me have the house tidy. So I've got no dog hair anywhere. Um, and I haven't got to worry about him vomiting on the bed in front of anyone again like he did the other day, which was just, you couldn't have scripted it. It was ridiculous. Just so gross. There's a little wasp over there. I keep looking at it. Um, what else? Update on sunburn. Yeah, it's still red really close to where the strap was, but like you can see it's this bit down here was really red and this has gone um not so red now, but it's very, very sore, which is why I'm wearing this bra because my other bra sits obviously right where this is, whereas this one is more of like a halter racing back, so it doesn't sit on the same bit. It's a sports bra, basically, and I have no intention of doing any sport in it. We're going for a walk today, but I'm not doing any sport, so don't... This is your first time here, and you think, oh, she works out. She does not work out. No. Um, yeah, so... That's the update. That's all it is. How was your weekend? What did you do? Did you do something good? Have you got anything good planned this week? Are you looking forward to this weather? Because I am not. Like, we're going... Uh, we're visiting friends down south on Wednesday, and I think the weather is supposed to be, let me look. I think it's supposed to be something ridiculous. Because I don't like hot weather and I'm I'm that person. I really dislike hot weather. Um, I just don't deal well in it. I don't cope well in the heat. I just feel like I'm gonna melt. Can we add another? Thank you. I'm just trying to add another city. Um, yeah, I don't deal well in the heat at all. It's just not my friend. Uh, oh, yeah, amazing. So, yeah, Wednesday and Thursday, where we're going, is supposed to be 28 degrees and 30 degrees. So, yeah, I'm going to melt. Um, and we've got, like, a two-and-a-half-hour car journey each way. Um, but luckily, the, um, the air con in our car is really good, so that'll be fine. But it's just not going to be very nice for the girls. Um, but you can't plan these things, can you? I think it's Mr. Bob's birthday today and he's not here. It's just popped up on my time hop. Look, all my different time hops. Oh my goodness, I'll show you, look. Oh, my little man, man. My little man, look at this one. He's got a bow. Look at that. How cute is Mr. Weenie? He is, I think he's nine today. Look at this bubba. He's nine today. Oh, Mr. Weenie. I just totally cry because it's Nibbler's birthday and he's not here. I feel bad. I'm so stupid. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? 
I knew it was his birthday this week and I just forgot because I've been busy. I am ridiculous. Yeah. Anyone else just cry everything? <sighs> I'm gonna go because I'm just being silly. I'll see you later. <laughs>